So I've noticed I've um, today we've got like uh, we have like a foot of snow come in today, and um, I tried to go to town and I ended up coming back. And I uh, realized after I got back, I felt really extremely tired. And that's during the day. I don't. I used to take naps, but I don't do it anymore. But what I wanted to say was that I wanted to talk a little bit about color magic. Um, one thing I learned when I was younger: if there's any kind of um, something that you want to pull into your life, an emotion, um, a feeling, um, um, you know, or something like that, you can do color magic for it with water. One of the things I learned many years ago was you can take a glass jar of whatever color you would like to have more of whatever it represents in your life and, and setting your intention. Like, say you wanted to have more passion in your life. You could get a red glass vase or a red glass jar, put water in it, and you could start from the waxing of the moon the new moon to the wax, you know, to the full moon when it's waxing. Let the water sit. Take a sip of it every day to bring more passion into your life. You could use yellow for mental clarity. You could use green for abundance. Or if you were wanting to think about like your chakras, you could do purple for your um, for, um your third eye, blue for your um, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> like I said, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Um, for your throat chakra to have more eloquent speaking, you could use yellow for mental clarity. Um, I um, also at one time used to use a purple glass jar because that to me is spirituality and also to me represents angels. You could also use a white jar. Um, places you can get these, you can um, get little glass, um, um, you could either paint the outside of a, of a clear glass or even a mason jar with glass paints for the color to represent the color and you could use you, if you wanted to open up some of your chakras you could maybe do some of the chakra colors or you could do like red for passion green for um, happy heart or more abundance in your life set your intention first Conse uh, I forget what the word is but on the other hand you could also go the other way say you want you um felt like you were angry all the time or you there was you know you had a problem with anger and you wanted to get rid of anger you could do a glass jar with black paint on it or even a black piece of cardboard around it you know construction paper and set your intention that I want I don't want to be as angry all the time and you could put fill it up with the tap water sit it out from the full moon to the dark of the moon in other words you would be then you, you would be doing the vanning moon so waning moon so you would be doing banishing and you could take a sip every day and say, I'm not, you know, set your intention that I'm less, less angry every day. And then you could, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, like I said, I'm under the little end of the weather, folks. So you could be focusing then on banishing, um, anger. Um, maybe you wanted, um, anything that you wanted to get rid of, you could associate a color with it do the tap water thing and if you wanted to pull something to you do it during the waxing moon anything you wanted to push away from you you could do it during the during the from the full moon to the new moon waxing and, and waning that's how you know you would pull to you or to get rid of so this is something i've done on and off over my life i don't know why i haven't talked about this before um and there's some other people that talk about that as well um jim goddess on her channel talks about um uh, setting intentions and using also glass jars um, at one point when I was really getting mental pictures of what the angels were saying to me um, which now so much they just more talk to me than they send me pictures I think they just wanted me to be aware more aware of them and they were just like okay so we're gonna have to really get through to her you know but I took a purple glass little vase that I got from Dollar Tree and you could also you know pick some up in thrift stores and stuff too just make sure they're very clean and some things you may even want to sterilize first. And I put, uh, I wrote down my intention. I want to hear my angels more. I want, to, or I want to at least subconsciously, I want to understand what my angels are saying to me. Wrote it on a piece of paper, taped it to the, to the little, to the purple vase, filled it up with water. And from the new moon to the full moon, I would just take a sip every day. You could also, if you wanted to just do it over a term of a, a long, a certain amount of time, say maybe you said, well, maybe um, I want to focus on this intention for a whole month regardless of the moon. You could take that little glass jar with whatever color or intention on it. You could set it out and every day for a whole month. 
you could take a sip. You have to set your intention so that you know what you're striving for. Anyway, I've been trying all day to get this little video up, and I like, crawled in the bed and slept for four hours. That's how I know I'm not completely up to par. I can't remember the last time I slept all night, got up, did a few chores in the morning, and then, you know, come 12 o'clock, crawled back into bed and passed out for, I mean, I went to lay down at 12, and I woke up once, and decided I just don't feel good, I'm gonna lay back down, and folks, when I got up again, it was 4.30, 4.30 California time, so I hope this helps somebody, if you really want to pull certain energies to yourself, or you want to banish certain energies, a good book to have is, um, 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 Llewellyn Publications has out a uh, planetary guidebook, and I usually get one every single year. This time of year, since they've already been out a while, they've got uh, reserve, they got extra copies, but the price is like seven bucks. Normally they're um, twelve to fifteen dollars, I think. So seven bucks is a heck of a deal with shipping and handling. So check out Llewellyn Worldwide. They have lots of books on tarot cards, spirituality, paganism, um, spells. Um, uh, meditations, um, and they sell loads, different loads of different kinds of tarot cards. They even have some books on ghost hunting, okay? And they have calendars galore, calendars with dragons, if that's your thing. Um, they've got um, a witchy calendar. They've got a zodiac calendar. I used to get one of those every single year. Um, they even have a cat calendar if you like cats. I love cats. So that's my little, my little um, extra information for today, folks. I'm going to throw this one up there, and, I, and if this helps somebody, please like, subscribe, and share. If you know anyone that really is having trouble setting goals and keeping focused, the gel, the spell jar with the colors, excellent. And you can always, you know, look up different ways to do the colors on them. Um, like I said, I don't know, not everybody I don't think has a Dollar Tree near them, but Dollar Tree, Dollar General, your local thrift store. You can find all kinds of colored vases, and if you were one of those people that had more money to spend and you wanted to do something exotic, you could even go online and find some, some uh, chakra colored glasses. There's all kinds. Of, you could even use the little candle jars if you wanted them. You know, they sell them on, they used to make these metal racks, and they would have all the colors of the chakras. You could even do those. They got the colors of the rainbow, yellow, green, purple, blue, red, yellow, clear, um, and for white ones, you could, like, you know, shoot, you could take glue and paint it on the outside of one, and, it, you know, it kind of dries clear, but kind of dries kind of white, you could even put sparklies, you could even decorate them if you wanted to, so, that's it for this evening, I will see y'all tomorrow when I do some more videos, I'm just feeling off and going to bed early tonight, uh, somewhere, I don't even know, where's Sky, Sky, where you at? Sky says goodnight, folks. Lana Scott, Lighthouse.